Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway... There's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. You're overreacting. You kidding? She wasted enough of my time, Gideon. I know you're soft on it. It's not about that. It's about the safety of all of us. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. All full up. Can't carry any more. Good deal.
Pleasure doing business with you, friend. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Calling me a witch? <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh, you sound like Issa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl, a good researcher, and unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. You must do something to get those children out from underfoot. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm, that's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. 
You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? How can we lift this with them playing around us? Can you figure out the riddle yet? Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. His wings you may seek refuge under his wings. A heron and an eclipse. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking.
The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. John. Tardaremos eternidades. ¿Cuántos años? Un paso a la vez. Un día a la vez. Si tuviéramos el éxito. like it's from the 17th century. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back? In the Dominguez. We'll find a way. Can we leave this with them playing around us? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? 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 <laughs> 
someone once said, if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows, or they're like this one, where it feels more natural and unplanned. There's something there. Could be something. What's this? Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. But the kids will love it. Did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said there's a real hero. Please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. I don't know how you got Diego and the rest of those kids out of the way, but I'm glad you did. Now we can get to work. Why should we start? Over this way. Thank you for your help. And I hope you find Isa. I'm worried about her. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Maybe something about the cross can show you where Isa went. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. the next cross. That's quite a bow you have. You must be a hunter. The mission could use a hunter. Ever since before the earthquake, we've been plagued by wolves. I can't let these children out of my sight for a second. Just the other day, I saw this one out on the road, running after a wolf. Can you believe that? He said he only wanted to play. Oh, as though he expected the wolves to roll over and chase sticks.
This document does... This document outlines. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel.
combustible. I can't carry any more. The ink is badly faded. There's the next cross. I don't have enough space for that. I can't carry any more. Looks like there's something here. Wait, I can push this. Got it!
last somebody found me. I don't have enough space for that. There you are. Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. I've always been grateful for my vivid imagination, except for right now. I can't carry any more.
It was me, don't worry. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a crypt. <clears throat> Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> 
Impossible. I can't carry any more. 